Please, please look at it. Mushvik. Thank you, thank you, Farhan. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, on uh, Bangladesh and UN peacekeeping, international rights organization like Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, asked the United Nations Under Secretary General Rakwa to raise his voice publicly for serious human rights abuse by the government security forces in Bangladesh and ensure that perpetrators of human rights violations in the country do not get deployed on UN peacekeeping missions. Peacekeeping forces should not have track records of human rights violation. What is your comment on that? And I have another question, please. Uh, well, our standard position is that we do due diligence on peacekeeping uh, forces from whatever nation to make sure that uh, that uh, they are uh, that they are uh, forces that are not associated with any uh, human rights violations. What's your second question? Yeah, the. Uh, under Secretary General Lakwa had participated in, in a dinar jointly hosted by Foreign Secretary and the Inspector General of Police, Abdullah Al Mamun, who served as Red Chief and got sanctioned under the Magnitsky Human Rights Act by the US for widespread allegation of serious human rights abuse in Bangladesh. RAB is reputed to be a death squad of the government of Bangladesh. Former High Commissioner of Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, have raised the issue of enforced disappearances and role of RAB in it. Is USG Lakwa being the head of the UN peacekeeping operation not obliged, consider of the UN's commitments of human rights? Uh, Mr. Lakwa uh, met with uh, the, the key people he needed to meet with uh, uh, who deal with peacekeeping uh, concerns. But like I said, uh, our policy, again, is, uh, is that we do not involve any forces that have been linked to human rights violations. Okay, uh, 